Hey, you're watching Half Zip, the lockpick and welder. On today's episode, I'm going to be picking and gutting this multi-lock junior. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using just a couple uh, Honest Dong Shi uh, flags. The, I guess like a medium one that I'll be using for the outer pins. And then a low flag that I've um, made much narrower to get in to do the, uh, the inner pins. Okay, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, tension tool that came with the Honest Dongshi kit. It works pretty well, actually. It uh, it fits nicely, like all the way down the keyway, so it's it's pretty helpful. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to go for the outer pins first. Um, the way that I go after this is as if it was two locks. So I'll get all the outer pins first, I'll get into a massive false set, and then I'll do all the inner pins. So I'm just going on the right side of them. There is enough room. Going for pin one first. Getting a bit of counter rotation. Felt like it was set. Going for two. Two kind of feels iffy. Gonna click on three. A little click on four. Sounded like something dropped there. Okay, one is overset. Where are you? There we go. Okay. And you got a little bit of movement on the cord, just going through each of them, twisting a little bit, see if we get anything. Just flip on one. I thought that was me breaking my pick. Three is binding pretty hard, but it doesn't want to move. Nothing on five still. Three. Got a big click on three. Okay, I think one was overset. We got one set now. Two, got a little bit of a false set. Three, can rotation, bigger false set. Nothing on four, five, can rotation. And we lost the false set. So something, well, just needed to be pushed a little bit more. Four, nothing. We still lost that false set. So I'm thinking, I'm going to try letting off. Yeah, one, uh, two, more. Three, nothing. Four, nothing. Okay, I think I'm just gonna let off a little bit of tension. I heard a little click. Not feeling anything else though. What was that? No. Okay, I'm going to let off a little bit more. Oh, wait, don't be like that. It's going to ever so slightly turn. Okay, come on. Nothing. 
Just trying to let off a bit of tension. Okay, there we go. Something was overset, and it's hard to, it doesn't want to release tension on you. I think, I think we might have them all set. I'll put little guidelines for myself here, although they're a bit fat, so it's hard to tell. But let's see. So I'm going to go for the inner pins now and see if we get anything. Nothing on one. Look for two. A little click on three, four, seems like we got a little click on four, five, there's five. One is good. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I don't think we actually have all of them set. I think pin five is still. Yeah, I'm getting counter rotation on five, and the outer pin is binding. And now we've lost our false set again. And I'm sure nothing else is going to be giving us. Oh, there we go. Okay, wow, that's a much bigger false set. So five just needed another little touch. So now we should have all of the outer pins set. And now we can start going for the inner pins. So we're going to click on one. Feel anything on two yet? Three, and there we go. We got her open. So we probably hit four on the way back from five. That's super fun. Um, I love this lock. I really do. It's uh, it's so much fun. Um, there's tons of feedback. And it's, it's great. I mean, you get huge counter rotation and the false set when you get all those outer pins set is just, it's crazy. It's, it's really, really good. Um, really enjoyable and just super satisfying. So now uh, let's get this out of the way. And I'm just going to... Uh, Lock her back up again because I have a key, thank God. Then we grab our old pinning tray. And let's see. So Phillips. I'm actually prepared for once.
Well, there we have it. Wow. Um, mistakes were made. Uh, it was definitely a learning experience. Next time will go much smoother. Um, but yeah, Multilog Jr. picked and gutted. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting more of these. I guess, uh, I mean, I've been debating maybe just grabbing an MT5 Plus and just jumping in. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's a little bit too crazy, but we'll see. Lots of fun. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, take care.